Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now in the last episode we spent a little bit of time preparing for a war I want to fight at least. I'm thinking about fighting against uh, Muscovoy over here. And we spent a lot of time trying to get our tech levels up on par with the rest of the world. Oh, and we did unlock another idea group and we grabbed trade. And I know Rich Mills, you made me laugh my ass off this morning when I was reading my comments. Uh, he said, let's trade more war, and then proceeded right below that to say, eh, by the way, war is probably not a good idea for you right now. Laughed my ass off, so thank you for that comment. Uh, I did grab the trade uh, gr trade idea group. I don't know why I was having it. So, so these days when I'm recording in the mornings and before I have had a ton of coffee, I seem to have trouble articulating myself a little bit. But uh, we do have a little bit of points we can spend. I kind of want to save them up for tech, though. I'm not really sure. Huh. Wait. Galley, cog. That's what I have right now. Yeah, galley and cog. Okay, so at level 10, which is what's coming... Okay, so level 10, which is coming up, I'll unlock those. That's why they're highlighted. And at level 9, I'll unlock this. So yes, definitely save up points there and points there. And I actually think once I grab those, then I'll be in a good position to declare war on people again. I know it's been a bunch of dry episodes because I haven't been really doing much fighting, but hopefully we'll we'll fix that soon. Now, I haven't it's been a while since I've checked that I I don't remember if I checked it or not last episode. Oh no, I did. They have some pretty shitty Ooh, actually, you know what? I just noticed something. Um and again, you're going to get giddy because I'm going to mention your name, but PC Dragon uh, mentioned this morning that what might be a good idea for me to do is to go to war with Norway because I, uh, I'm pretty much under the agreement that I'm not going to be able to vassalize them. So go to war with Norway and then just grab Iceland from them. Right up here. Use that as a stepping stone to get over to the, the continent. And I'm thinking that's a good idea, and I might be able to two birds with one stone this, because they are allied with Norway. So at some point in this war, I might be able to, and I'm not worried about Hungary, because they're just wrecked right now. At some point in this war, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll fight Muscovy, I'll take the land over here I want, and we're, we're fabricating a claim on the last province right there, Dorpat, I think it was. So we'll grab these, we'll wipe out their army, and then what I'll do is I'll just send a small contingent of men over to Norway and siege down those lands. And then what I'll do is, um, hopefully that'll get me enough war score to grab, to, to have a separate piece with Norway and grab Iceland from them. No, I actually don't even need the whole thing. I only need one half, really. It's two provinces, right? Reykjavik, and I don't know how to pronounce that one. Okay, yeah, it's, it's two provinces. I only need to grab one, but I'll I'll siege them both down. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, I think. We'll try that. They've discovered it. Like, every time I've tried this, they've discovered it. I don't care. I do not care that you know what I'm doing. I'm still gonna fucking do it. Oh, and you know what else I should do? Drop that down. We're going to... Now... I was going to wait. I was going to save up that for the next tech group, so we're not going to use that right now. Uh, not trade. This one. We're going to crank this up. Look at all that money. Inflation's going down. Just checking on a couple things. Military. I should probably hire in some more people at a force limit of 40, and I only have 28 right now. I can definitely afford to bring some more people in. So what I'm going to do is grab some more... I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to do a couple cavalry contingents, and I'm just going to record, recruit them up here. Let's do one, two, three, and four. Grab four more of those, and how much are those? Those are pretty pricey, so I think what I got right now is okay on that. What will that bring me up to? 20, do I have 24 right now? No, I have 20. That'll bring me up to 32. I like that. I like that number, so we'll just do that. We'll do four more, four more regiments. Now, I should probably, just in case, let's bring those guys out of Mothball. Now, can I upgrade these guys? For 100 gold, I can upgrade them, yes. And it, I think it was just these two. But, Carracks to early Carracks, uh, early, early Carracks to regular Carracks. Ooh, nice, right here. Bam. 
Awesome. In 509, a monk and engineer tore down the medieval walls of Padua and replaced them with a rampart and a ditch which was swept by flanking fire from the walls and the initial level of protection. That was the first uh, star fort, I guess. Let's see. What is the next thing going to get me? Okay, the next level 10 will get me Eastern Hussars, uh, Culverns, and improved flanking range of 25%. Awesome. But I'm, I'm happy with 9 right now. What are they working with? They're working with nine as well. So I am on par with my potential enemies' military. Excellent. Let's crank this up to speed three so we're not waiting too long. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this episode a little bit short today. I unfortunately overslept a little bit, so I don't have a ton of time to record before heading into work. So I need to trim down the length of these episodes so I can you know, keep to my schedule and get that content coming out every single day. Not gonna, it's just going to be like a 20-minute episode instead of a 30-minute episode. It's not going to be too terribly different. Alrighty, so there is our... Is our... There's our new cavalry contingents. And as a Polak, I should be going pretty heavy on the cavalry here because our cavalry is awesome. Let's merge those all together into one Doom-ish type stack. Come on. Am I... No. Okay. We're hitting the wrong button. That doesn't help. Alright, so we got 15,000 infantry, 13,000 cavalry, and 4,000 artillery. Love it. That's a that's an army right there. That's a proper, proper state army. I love it. Okay, now, what are we doing? What are we doing? We can build. There's tons of stuff to build now. Star Fort. Huh. Courthouse. There's a lot. I'm starting to the, the the stuff to build is starting to outstrip the. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Uh, someone mentioned, and uh, I I know exactly who it is. So, uh, someone mentioned that I should build a march in Danzig because that would give me the most bang for my buck. And I thought they meant turning Danzig into a march like Moldavia down here. No, I think they meant this right here. Increased manpower, attrition from enemies, and local defensiveness of 200%. And Danzig is an important, important... Wait, actually, Warsaw would give me a bigger boost. Oh, and we just got what I wanted. The flute. Specialized cargo vessel capable of carrying a large load with a very small crew. Designed to be built cheaply in large numbers. A useful ship if you have to move things across the ocean. Now, that gave me access to better ships so if we, we can upgrade 19 all of our galleys to war galleys for 200 this is why i'm glad i have so much money and i don't think it was these guys um oh, our, oh, our general died no big deal if we actually go to military we have carrick caravel war galley oh it was the cogs i think the cogs got upgraded to flutes did I, do I have cogs in here? I do, don't I? Okay, now I have flutes in here. So we're going to give those guys maybe a little bit of time to... Maybe at least give uh, the Carracks enough time to, to, to boost up to 100%. And then maybe we'll get this started. I am excited. If we... I don't think I can, but we can always check. Sickness of King. Jan I has fallen ill and cannot handle all aspects of ruling Poland for the time being. How should we handle this? More power to the nobles or delegate more to the provinces? Uh, let's do production efficiency. I love that I'm finally caught, uh, caught up on military uh, tech right now. Well, just about caught up. I mean, some of these guys are probably 11. Yeah, 11, 10, but I'm at 9, so I'm right there next to them. All right, so we're going to take a look over here. We're just going to give them a little bit, little bit, little bit more time. And you know what I do need to do, though, is bam, new leader. 50 military power or shit. All right, come on. Oh, you know what? I hmm. I think I'm going to leave. I was uh, thinking about switching my focus from admin to military. But uh, I think for this war, I'm going to leave it on admin because I'm going to need the admin points for coring 
and then after the war, I'll switch it over to military. I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, not going to do Polish, uh, Lithuanian Commonwealth this episode, just because I do want to see uh, what you guys think about, you know, the decision going with the Commonwealth slash staying, sticking with Poland. Right now, I kind of want to stick with Poland just because I wanted to, I wanted to be playing as Poland with that name as you know Poland the entire game. I didn't want to form the Commonwealth and get the different name and the different colors and whatnot. I know it sounds stupid, but it's just something I wanted to do. But I will uh, I will listen to you guys, see what you say about it. Uh, and you know what? I think it's time. It's been a while, but I think it's time. Going to declare war. Can we do multiples? I'm not going to. No one's going to be considered a co belligerent. Well, actually. Who's no. Wait, let me check something real quick. Diplomacy. Um. Burgundy and Muscovoy. I would bring Burgundy. Burgundy's. Where's Burgundy? I thought they were over there. Bur there's Burgundy. No, I, I don't plan on taking. Okay, I don't want to risk messing this up. And, uh. So I'm just going to. I'm going to not consider them a cold belligerent, and I think I'll pay the extra price for. Coring that. If I, if I can get. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it, but I'll try. Declare war! Shit. I forgot about this. No leader. Whoop. Alright. Oh my god. Such a shit leader. <laughs> you suck. Oh god. Such a terrible leader. Alright, let's uh let's let's just wipe out whatever whatever this little contingent is. First time there's been some combat in a while. And pardon the noise. I'm actually getting some good rolls, which is weird. I'm used to getting like zero, 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 zero. <laughs> We've lost 2,000 men, so holy man has arrived. I gained a theologian. Let's uh make sure we got some good people over here. Yeah, we, we do. All right, put this on speed too. They held out better than I thought. My like my cavalry didn't even get involved, in, barely got involved in this at all. Did they even get involved at all? No. Completely, completely wiped out that army. Uh, let's put this down. And okay, now we're gonna leave this guy right there to blockade because it's Narva. Uh, the force limit down here is really low, so let's get out of dodge. Well, first let's. Uh, detach. Where is that button? Why am I... Oh. Um. And then we'll just move up here. Put this on speed 2 and move up there. And then we'll move up to Narva. And we'll detach. And then we'll move up here. Now I'm assuming all the cannons are still with the army. No, some of them got detached. Oh, it, it, yeah, I added a, a little bit in there. That's good. And this guy, sh I, sh I can keep this entire thing here if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So we're just going to do that, just like that. Uh, Sweden is not my enemy. So I am fighting Muscovoy, Georgia, Hungary, Emirati, and... See, Hungary I'm not worried about. Look at, the, look at their nation right now. They've got... Still, they still got uh, heretic rebels, Pentecostal heretics, and uh, what are these guys? Old believer heretics all over the place. There's, they can't do shit against me. You know what I can do if I felt like it? Let's um, let's send this army over here. Army, navy. I'm just gonna uh, send them up here, and I'm gonna start messing around with Norway because I do want those lands. All right, now we're just sieging. Uh, I expected a, a, an army to come flooding in from somewhere, but uh, I don't think they. I think their army's gone. 
What the hell are you doing, Sweden? Are, is Sweden attacking Novigrad? Wants your province. They desire Smolensk. That's not going to happen down there. Oh, I love the music in this game. I should turn it. I want to turn it up a little bit, but uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea at the moment. In, in the moment, because that would change the, uh, the audio levels when I'm when I'm editing this later. All right, now I think I can get. Let's um. Uh, what would I want to do? Um, attached to transports. I think how many do I have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So let's just grab. Let's make a new unit. Create a new unit. I don't know why, but just just like some of the buttons being in slightly different places than in Crusader Kings Two throws me off. And is that there? That is Muscovoy right there. Never mind. Close this. Let's move these guys right here. All right, I'm gonna keep them in the field because, I mean, they got pretty ravaged, but with, but they're gonna win, they're gonna come out with a with a big W there. So I'm gonna keep these guys in reserve right next to all of my sieges. So if they come over this way, I can immediately throw my guys into the my my main army into the fight. The sieges are actually going really well so far. Uh, Narva, thankfully, we. We don't have we have uh, we have a cannon there. Oh, nice! It tells you exactly how much bonuses it's going to get. We have cannons there. It's blockaded, and we breached the walls, so that's going really fast. So what I'm going to do is just stay here. I'm going to play this safe. I'm going to stay here until I siege down all these provinces, and this one's going to go pretty quickly. And then I'm going to turn my arm. I'm going to put my guys back together, turn my army around, and go attack their army. Got. Plenty of men. Love my manpower right now. Love the manpower I have. So much better than when I started, and I can get it even higher. Like I said, we might be might as well do some other stuff while uh, while I'm here. And it was suggested that I put the march in Danzig, but right now I'm thinking Warsaw is better. It says it right there, 800. Um, what else does it give though? Defensiveness, attrition for enemies. That's my capital, so I mean. Hmm. It says it says eight hundred instead. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in Warsaw. It just seems like the the, the smarter idea right now. It's my capital. And uh, what else? We have some points to spend. Uh, we could do some star forts. What is that gonna give me? Supply limit. Maybe put a, maybe put star forts on the border. House armory. I haven't even finished doing armories everywhere. I am getting a little outstripped by by the buildings I am locking. Uh, trade depot. Oh, those are those are good though. That trade trade power increase. I think I already did the the biggest ones, but you know up here it's a it's a little bit. Let's do a couple of those. Yeah, let's do this entire area. Okay, that's my construction, my wartime construction for now. Spend a thousand gold. Now, where is Muscovoy's army? We can no longer claim Ostmarch. Wh where was this? Against Austria. I don't care about that. I don't want claims in Austria. Oh, wow. Moldav Moldavia. I love those guys. Warriors of the Catholic faith. The more zealous among the Catholic of Livland have long kept watch on the border, suspicious of the... Oh, hang on. Let's put this on one. Are the unbelievers on the other side? Now they find their suspicion confirmed in the open, de de open declaration of war. Prepared and willing to give their lives for the Catholic cause, their local militia has joined our forces in battle against the invading army. Get Eastern Militia, Eastern Militia, Eastern Militia in Livland. Where, where's Livland? Right here. Oh, they just kind of joined the army. Hell yeah! Free troops. And uh, it looks like uh, Moldavia and Lithuania put their shit together and uh, is kicking. They're kicking the shit out of Muscovoy's army. They must have had their armies just way out in the field somewhere, maybe fighting out over here or something. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, next siege down. Still only three percent war score, but my, <laughs> what is my army now? Thirty-six total, something like that. I love it. I like how they just. Bleep. 
plop, plopped in, right like that. Yeah, and Sweden's attacking Novigrad now, which I do not like. I do not want Sweden down this way. All right, now do we have the proper supply limit of 32? So that's perfect. Now, which one was the war score? Did we, was it Narva? I think it was Narva. Uh, Polish conquest up Narva. Take Narva. I have Narva. Excellent. And there we go. All right, we can't... <laughs> Army's getting a little big to keep them in one stack. I love how those guys just popped up into existence. Just like, hey, here we are. And what can we do, do tech -wise? Oh, okay, we have the admin points. If we wanted to, we can go admin level 11, which will give us a spy agency. And a counting house. Yearly inflation reduction of 10%. Okay. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if I want to grab this right now, because I kind of do want to save up, well, next I do groups at 14, so I'm three, that would, I'm four techs away right now. Next one is pr almost definitely going to be a military one. The next idea group, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll grab offensive ideas. Let's see, so that's, uh, shock, recruitment time, fire, prestige, siege ability, Force modifier, discipline, and forced march. Forced march is awesome. Now, uh, is this? Do I have too many men here? Yes, we're taking attrition, just hanging out there. So let's um, march them. So let's just grab everybody and march them down to uh, yeah, right over here to Danzig. We're done over here. Well, for now, we're done. Actually, you know what? It's almost spring. Let's just leave them here. Let's leave these guys here. And I actually think I'm going to end this episode right here because I am running out of time just a little bit. Like I said, got to head off to, to work and I slept in just a little bit by accident. Oh, actually, someone to take care of down here. So we'll take care of that next episode. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the fact that I'm at war again. It's been a while, but I'm enjoying it at least. So if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like, leave me a comment right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Crusader, oh, Crusader Kings 2, not playing that right now, Europa Universalis 4, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.